Hey everybody, just back with another video. Sorry for the delay today. I usually post videos much earlier than this, but I had a family event to go to today. So, uh, but here I am and we're going to react to a video of Pierre Polyev just absolutely destroying Justin Trudeau on inflationary taxes. Or sorry, in, in, on how inflation is the most immoral tax. Sorry about that. And uh, we're going to watch that and then we'll react to it after like usual. Reality is that big corporations always do well in an inflationary environment. And it's very simple. Why? If you have stuff, then you get richer when stuff goes up in price. If you need stuff, you get poorer when stuff goes up in price. That's why inflation is always a tax on the poorest people to the benefit of a tiny minority on top. It's not just those who sell stuff, but it's those who own assets that get better off. So that's why I warn in this House of Commons in the fall of 2020 that printing $600 billion of money was going to lead the billionaire class to become extremely wealthy, and it did. You're pumping $400 billion into financial markets, inflating financial assets and enriching the people who own those assets who are overwhelmingly affluent and well-to-do people. And in the process, you are diluting the wages of working class people. Uh, your own uh, policy paper from your bank shows that inflationary costs are borne disproportionately by the poor and the disadvantaged. So you're effectively transferring an enormous sum of wealth to those who have financial assets while diluting the wages of working class people. Are you not worried that this is going to expand the gap between rich and poor? The gap between rich and poor has grown. I knew this would happen because when you funnel hundreds of billions of dollars into the financial system, you balloon the assets of the people who have and you increase the costs on those who have not. Inflation is the most immoral tax, and it takes from the have-nots to give to the have-yachts. Conservatives will not only get rid of the carbon tax on food, we will get rid of the inflation tax on everybody. You know, as, as Pierre Polyev makes a very good point here, you know, and as he says, you know, big corporations are, are and people who have a lot of money, people who have a lot of assets, they're the ones who benefit, right? You bought a house that's worth $200,000 15 years ago, well, because of the the lack of houses being built, these houses go up in price expen exponentially, and they, they do it very rapidly as well. So that house now that you've paid off that is it belongs to your, you know, as an asset, it belongs to you, it is part of your net worth. That $200,000 is it, the house is now worth, you know, six, seven, eight hundred thousand $800,000. Right, so your net worth, instead of having an extra two hundred thousand dollars added to it, has eight hundred thousand dollars added to it. And then when the when there's a, a housing market crash, what do you see? That number, that eight hundred thousand dollars, is going to go back down to four, and they're going to lose four hundred thousand dollars from their essentially net worth. However, it doesn't hurt them that bad because they're the ones who own houses and own businesses and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if you are trying to buy groceries, and now all the groceries are more expensive because the gas is more expensive therefore making it more expensive to, to deliver the groceries to the grocery store, of course, we're going to pay 